Hi everyone. How are you doing? Cool, awesome. All right. So today you will learn what exactly JavaScript is, and we will also plan how we can learn JavaScript step by step from the very basic level to the advanced level. All right. So if I ask you what is JavaScript, then what will you say? Okay. So in fact, you can say that JavaScript is a programming language. and uh, javascript language can be used at the client side mainly in the browsers or the html pages but with the modern javascript javascript can also be used at the server side and with the help of node.js okay so let's see uh, so as you can see javascript this is javascript javascript is a programming language mostly used to dynamically script web pages so dynamic web pages can be created with the help of javascript so when we say web pages which means on the client side which means on the browsers so back in the early days javascript was mainly used at the client side mainly in the browsers and but it is also often utilized on the server side yeah server side using packages such as node.js which means now at the present era so this javascript can be used in the front end and also at the back end so javascript is everywhere so it's not uh, it's not like uh, in the like in the past where in javascript was mainly used at the client side but today javascript can be used at, bo at both the sides like client side and server side cool awesome now now from this definition it's clear that uh, javascript is a programming language which we can use uh, to dynamically script web pages now what is the plan to learn the javascript step by step so i think the first step should be to learn to install one id eclipse id in fact so what is id id is integrated development environment so to practice javascript at your end to learn uh the programming concepts and to make a small programs like add addition of two numbers or declaration of variables what are functions arrays so these things we will practice step by step but to practice those stuffs we should have eclipse id installed on our machine so today we'll see how we can download eclipse and install eclipse id then we can proceed further and we will learn the concepts of javascript all right now the step one is just just go to google.com uh, uh but before that before the installation of eclipse id uh, i would like to uh, tell something like uh, for example uh, if you write this is a notepad right so if you write some contents like something and you are saving the notepad text file so you give the extension .txt so for example you have one file so you have named that file abc.txt so text file has text files have extension .txt same way if you write some java code some programming java script some programming so you save that file with the extension .js .js means java script so .js and if you have for example some let's talk about another programming language for example java so in that you write some java code and you save the file as dot java extension right dot txt dot js dot document file word doc so just i just wanted to tell that okay if you are learning javascript so whatever we write we will save that file and this thing extension of that file would be dot js which means whenever you see some file name with extension with the extension dot js it means it's a javascript file all right so to learn javascript the step one is uh, to install eclipse id so now let's try to install eclipse id so just step one is just go to google.com and here in just type eclipse id for javascript and web developers this eclipse id for javascript and web web developers and here you will see different links just click on the first link 
so we will download eclipse and we'll see uh, how we can install the eclipse on our machine so this is the official site of eclipse www.eclipse.org and you can see different uh, versions different releases are available so this we want to download eclipse id for javascript web developers so we want to practice javascript so that's why we will need eclipse id for javascript web developers now here you can see different releases so let's take uh, the latest one oxygen packages you just need to click on this oxygen packages all right so in the oxygen packages and we are interested for this eclipse id for javascript and web developers so let's click on this all right now on the right hand side you could see download links this one on the right uh, right side of the page so windows 32 bit windows 64 bit and depending on the os you can download so on my machine it's 64 bit so i will uh, click on this windows 64 bit i just need to click on this link all downloads are provided under the terms and conditions and uh, you just need to click on this download here is a download button i'll be clicking on this download let's click on this I think download is in progress so that's why I'm getting the message thank you for downloading Eclipse and here you can see like it's being installed and uh, let's say on the desktop you can save the zip folder anywhere you want uh, so let let's let me uh, we are in let and on C drive let me save um, let me create a new folder here just right click new eclipse uh, let's say eclipse for javascript You can create any folder in any drive and just try to click on save so it will download and you can uh, you could see in the lower top I mean in the left lower so I mean downloading is, is still in progress so you will after downloading eclipse you will get one zip file you just need to extract that zip file and there you will get one eclipse exe you just need to double click on that exe and eclipse will launch it's pretty simple straightforward so what we did we just go to google.com we typed eclipse for javascript and uh, we got we got this link and here depending on the on uh, depending on the machine maybe on the type of the operating system like windows or linux so depending on the operating system i mean the version 32 bit or 64 bit so depending on that os and version you just need to click on the link and it will download everything and you will get one zip file i'll show you in a while all right so now the downloading of eclipse is done and here you can see the downloading has a stop and if i open this folder then uh, after downloading the eclipse for javascript from the official site of eclipse uh, we get generally this zip folder it's a zip folder so now the next step is to unzip this folder just right right click and extract all i will click on extract all and just click on this extract button so it will extract whatever the files are inside the compressed zip folder so let it complete all right so after unzipping this file um, we got this this folder i mean let me show you again 
this zip file we downloaded from the eclipse official site eclipse javascript oxygen release and after unzip why we get this folder if i click on this so we get this eclipse all right so that's it i mean we just downloaded that zip file extract that zip file and inside we could see this eclipse application you just need to click on this eclipse just to launch the eclipse let me launch it just double click on this and one pop-up will appear just click on run and here you can see eclipse oxygen version 3 is being launched so we have just downloaded and uh, now we are using the eclipse editor so this way um, in the eclipse id id is integrated development environment in the eclipse id we can write some javascript code we can execute those javascript code and that way we can learn the javascript programming more and more so the the first step in learning javascript language or javascript programming language was to to have one id and we have chosen this eclipse id for the practice of javascript programming so uh, let it launch it will launch and i'll show you the uh, look and feel of this editor eclipse editor eclipse editor now you can see uh, eclipse launcher is saying okay uh, select a directory as a workspace and eclipse uses the workspace directory to store its preferences and development artifacts so by default they have uh, taken this location c drive users my pc eclipse workspace so i think this should be the fine so i'll go with this i just click on launch so eclipse needs one workspace wherein it will store your files and everything now we can see uh, eclipse oxygen is being loaded you can see this progress bar it's being loaded now and it should uh, its main window should appear in some time all right so now we can see eclipse is launched welcome to eclipse for javascript and web developers so here in this eclipse id we can practice javascript programming and this is the welcome screen and here we have different options i'll just close this welcome <laughs> welcome link and here we could see uh, this is the eclipse editor it's pretty simple and uh, here we have different options like uh, we can create new file project and everything at it so we'll go through in detail uh, the eclipse id id uh, in detail and also we'll see how we can write some javascript programs and how we can practice so that's what uh, i wanted to discuss today so thanks for watching and uh, we'll see uh, i'll see you in next video all right thank you so much bye bye